Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. The Pope means business. Capitalism met Catholicism on Tuesday as some of the world's biggest business leaders announced a new partnership with Pope Francis. The alliance, known as the Council for Inclusive Capitalism with the Vatican, aims to create a more inclusive, fair and sustainable economic landscape by taking pledges towards sustainable development goals focused on areas such as climate action, peace and justice, quality education, and gender equality. Quote, an economic system that is fair, trustworthy, and capable of addressing the most profound challenges facing humanity and our planet is urgently needed, Pope Francis said in a statement. The Council comprises 27 core members known as the Guardians of Inclusive Capitalism, who represent companies worth over $2.1 trillion in market capitalization and 200 million workers. Members include Bank of America CEO Brian Monahan, Johnson & Johnson CEO Alex Gorski, Salesforce CEO and founder Mark Benoff, and MasterCard CEO Asia Benga. The Guardians will meet annually with Pope Francis and Cardinal Peter Turkson, leader of the Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development at the Vatican to pursue their vision and values. Quote, the fact that different religions need to come together on all matters is just the crying need of the times in our world, Benga said in the Council's video introduction. Faith cannot be used to pull us apart. Faith is meant to bring us together. The Council's founding, spearheaded by managing partner of Inclusive Capital Partners Lynn Forrester, De Rothschild, illustrates a collaborative effort of the environmental, social, and governance-focused practices occurring in the economic landscape already. Earlier this year, J.P. Morgan Chase announced that it would commit $30 billion to advance racial equality over the next five years, while Apple and Microsoft unveiled plans to become carbon neutral and carbon negative, respectively, over the next 10 years. Quote, payday is coming. Quote, the merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company in ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. Revelation 18, 15 through 19. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.